Hello Leos, welcome to your love reading for August 2019. Keep in mind this is a general reading. If it does resonate, consider a personal reading, rates, info, email below, just send me an email. We can make that happen, okay? So let's see what's going on with you Leos for love. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please spread your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Leos. Love, August 2019. Any messages you have that can help Leo reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to the divine. In regards to love would be greatly appreciated for August 2019. What do you see? What do Leos need to know in regards to love? August 2019. Thank you. Alrighty, Leos, love August 2019. Can you please show me the energies that Leo recently passed out of? In regards to love, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, and keep in mind I'll be leaving a link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a current or crush or an ex, so check that out. Love energies in August. We have the Three of Pentacles in the upright. And then check out my playlist for my 2019 Sun and Moon readings, my compatibility readings, and I'm also on Insta and Facebook where I upload my weeklies. I just so uploaded that at a weekend. And I'm on the Instaco app if you need a quick answer to a quick question. I'll turn it 24 hours, four bucks and 98 cents for that. Alrighty, and of course, like I said, if this resonates, consider a personal reading. So, Leo's Ace of Pentacles, this is the energy you're passing out of, it's in reverse. So you really hope that something was gonna happen, that it was gonna be a committed relationship, um, you thought it was solid, um, what have you. And you were actually looking forward to the opportunity, you thought it was gonna turn into something that was gonna be solid. But it turns out that was not the case, okay? Um, I, I feel like there was a little, you know, um, I, and, and I feel like some of you were actually working toward this, towards this, because Ace of Pentacles is very much about work. So you're working, you were putting the pieces in place to kind of make this happen, line things up, waiting for this grand moment, this grand opportunity, and it just didn't happen. So whatever you were in wasn't the stablest of things, um, wasn't, wasn't meant to take root. Um, wasn't meant to have a commitment, wasn't for the long term, okay? Because Ace of Pentacles upright is about, you know, something that's very stable. Um, so what I'm seeing here is, well, this didn't happen. So you guys are, and I, I'm not trying to off-put anybody here, but you're working on something um, to get attention, okay? And, and don't take that the wrong way. Like, that's how a lot of people get confidence. They put their work into what they're good at. And, um, you know, you guys have a propensity more so than the Zodiac to when you do something well, you like people to tell you. You're very proud of what you do and you like people to tell you. So I do feel like um, you all are, you know, throwing yourselves into work, some kind of project that's gonna get some acclaim, some notice, some public recognition, a big pat on the back or what have you. And, and I think you're just kind of doing this to build up your confidence because you came off of this. Um, yeah, and I mean, I'm kind of feeling that. So, I mean, whatever you need to kind of do to kind of like build that up. And, and I think you're doing it with other people. You might, you might be doing a group project. So you might also be working on something that, you know, is a great thing, you know, that is going to be noticed, but you're working with other people. So at the same time, you're meeting different types of people. Um, so, I mean, that can only be positive. And then moving out of August, we have the Four of Pentacles in the upright. So again, I feel like you're very work oriented. I feel like you guys are trying to build up the things that you have, um, that you what you have control over. So you have control over your finances and practical things and assets and things like that. And I feel like you're just surrounding yourself with these things so that you can work on coming back from whatever happened here. Um, sometimes like i said we need to do that we need to focus on the things that we can have control over build up our dynasties and things like that so we can have that around us and be like aha look what i have you know um so that's all over what i'm kind of getting for you all so can you please find clarification on the ace of pentacles in reverse why is the ace of pentacles here in reverse for leo's energies prior love energies prior to august 2019 who is this person what is this energy Okay, leave the two of swords in reverse. Queen of Pentacles. I think you saw the writing on the wall with this. I see the two of swords in reverse, which I mean, immediately I felt like 
okay, this is gonna go this way or this is gonna go that way, and either way it's gonna go I don't like, okay? So maybe on the one hand, you know, you have to um, compromise somehow and, you know, you didn't necessarily wanna do it. So let's say like on the one hand, um, you know, a decision between two things. And on the one hand, it might've been in being with this person, they decided they didn't want a commitment, but you know, they wanted maybe friends with benefits or they just wanted to stay friends or they want to still have a connection with you. And that's all they could offer you at this time. So that was one way to decide or one, um, one option that was being presented to you. And then the other option was, hey, let's not see each other anymore. Um, you know, if you don't want to do that, then maybe we shouldn't see each other. So, I mean, either of those things really wasn't something that necessarily appealed to you. So I feel like you kind of knew this, it was a writing on the wall. And I think um, with the Queen of Pentacles, you knew that this wasn't going to last. You were going to end up being um, without this person. And your focus was sort of on, okay, well then let me go back was focus was on this let me go back to building the things that I have around me like let me make my house fabulous let me you know let me look in on my stock and investments and things like that anything practical um, because you kind of knew that you weren't going to have that person by your side um, in the way that you wanted them by your side okay which is which is good there's a certain amount of dignity that goes along with that saying hey I don't I don't want second best I know what I want and, and if that's not the case what you're presenting me is not appealing to me and I, I'd rather just kind of like be with my stuff and everything that I have and, and be okay and rely on myself than kind of give what you're offering me. Um, but I feel like your confidence took a little bit of a hit here with Ace of Swords. Um, you don't really have a kind of clear direction that you were kind of going in after this. I mean, because you kind of thought this was it. And then when that didn't happen, here's another beginning where, where there was no direction. So you're, you're moving a little bit forward, confusion, um, a little bit of doubt, um, not feeling so sure of yourself. And, you know, the Ace of Swords can often talk of just make sure you hold on to your self-belief as you move forward, which I hope you all did. Why is this Three of Pentacles here in the upright? Why is the Three of Pentacles here in the upright for Leos? Love energies for August. Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages. Three of Pentacles in the upright. So Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you're doing this because you are suffering disappointment from this person. I see a Knight of Cups and you really thought that things were going to kind of work out. Um, you had all the hopes with the four of, four of Wands. You know thinking about putting down roots with this person kind of you know making this happen but the good part is that i feel like this experience kind of has made you um realize what you want and maybe with the three of pentacles that's actually what you're working towards you're like okay let me get my confidence back let me work on something that's really that i'm really good at that i know is going to make me feel good and then i'm going to focus on finding this king of cups now king of cups out of the tarot deck i always say is one of the you know is like the ideal partner. It's the person you want to find. I, even though I don't want to get gender specific, he is the king. He's mature. He's a male. He's known as an ideal, um, as the like the the perfect father. He's fatherhood. He's, um, you know. So I, I think all of this is kind of allowing you to focus on that, and that's what you're working on with the three, three of pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles, like I said, working with other people, um, putting yourself in a situation where you might run into this person that you kind of have your sights on. Um, not a person in particular, just an idea of the kind of person that you need to have. Not this person who kind of wanted things, you know, that way. That's not what you want. You need this person who has their head on straight, their emotions are in check, and they're ready to have a healthy relationship. Why is the Four of Pentacles here in the upright for Leo? Who is this person? What is this energy? In regards to moving on from this reading, moving into August, oh four, but yeah, you guys are just holding on to your stuff. It makes you feel secure. You're like I can't count on, I can't count on anybody at this point. But what I can't can count on moving forward is the crap that I have, um, the things that I've made, the um, title I've made for myself, the position I have for myself, or I've made for myself, my standing. Uh, you're getting restless though. So you have it. You have. I feel like for a lot of you, you have everything you want in your life practically. Okay, you have the job, you have the bank account, you have security, you have um, things lined up for the future. You have all that, but you don't have that special person in your life moving into August. And I'm sensing that with the Four of Swords. You know, you don't have that person. Am I ever going to find that person? Four of Swords can be frustrated, frustration because nothing's changing. Um, you know, and, and wanting it to happen and, and spinning your wheels and getting burnt out because it's not happening. 
intentional message for the Four of Pentacles in the upright. For Leo's, so this is person, what's this energy? And you feel trapped. Part of the reason why you might not be finding that person, this Mr. Right here, um, the Eight of Swords talks about having a tendency to fall into the same types of relationships. So what it asks for is for you to kind of go back and reflect on your past relationships. Is there a pattern there? Do you keep on attracting the same type of person and then getting stuck in that type of um, relationship? So that's what's kind of keeping you trapped. And the Eight of Swords, I mean, that's keeping you trapped, preventing you from find, finding somebody or being with somebody. And the Eight of Swords, good thing about the Eight of Swords, it's all about in your mind, okay? So this is really kind of going on in your mind. It's not a reality. As long as you, as soon as you change your mind and your perspective on how you kind of view um, different types of people out there it is when you're gonna be able to change your situation dramatically, okay? Because this is a self-imposed imprisonment. It's something that you have put on yourself because of your way of thinking, your perspective, your pattern of thinking. So you definitely have an ability to break out of that. So my recommendation would be that you guys just kind of look. I mean, do you notice that you keep on going for the same type of a guy? And if, you know, the pendulum swings that way, then maybe you should start, I'm sorry, guy or girl. I hate, I hate, I hate it when I do that. Um, then swing the pendulum the other way and maybe give somebody a chance that is totally opposite from this person that you are used to dating, okay? And I know that, um, what, what is it? I love the saying, it's better to deal with the devil you know than the devil you don't know. And we do that a lot in relationships. Even though relationship is terrible for us, we continue to date somebody that, or types of people that are terrible for us because it's what we're familiar with, especially if we came from a bad upbringing or we came, we came from an upbringing where, you know, it was a bad family. That's what we're familiar with and that's what we know. That's what we're comfortable with. So we tend to attract that um, because we're comfortable with it and we know how to deal with it. But is it really healthy? Is it really good for us? Uh, it takes a lot to kind of break out of that. So I'll leave you with that. Um, consider a personal reading if this resonates with you. And if you need one, just find my email below and check it out. Please like, share, subscribe, and support me. And then I'm just going to mention everything else. Check out my playlist where my 2019 sun moon predictions are. My compatibility readings are in there that I'm always working on. Um, and then I'm on Insta, Facebook. I upload, I'm going to start doing weekends too. So weekly is the weekends if I can. Um, and then I'm on the Instinco app. If you need a quick answer to a quick question, just hit me up on there. You'll get it within 24 hours. Adios from Veronica Garnet. Best of luck to you. Oh, and make sure you check out, click on the link below for the video, um, Vimeo video for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a crush or current or an ex. Okay. Sorry to take up your time with all the yip yap. Good luck to you guys. Bye.